Whew, it's already getting hot. Even in the middle of the night, it gets hot up in here. All right, what up, fuckers? <laughs> Eric Harrison here from the Death Twitch Horror Review. Uh, finally gonna bring you that damn q and I promised, like, what seems like years ago. No, my life is a little fucking chaotic right now. I have to find a way to work with the madness. Yeah, so... Let's jump into this, and uh, thanks to everybody for leaving your comments and your questions and always supporting me and stuff like that. That's always pretty badass, so thanks a lot, guys. It's getting hot under these lights already, <laughs> and my back hurts because I was at work all day. So, I'm not going to... I'm not going to blabber on for too long throughout these. We'll try and keep it to 20 minutes or less. We'll see what happens. So we better get started. There's a lot of questions to go on. Um, as you know, here's the disclaimer. I'm going to fuck up all your names. Just know that going in. You know, don't take it personally. Mizzy, um, somebody that I recognize uh, from way, way back. Somebody that's been on my a sub on my channel for quite a long time. So thanks a lot. What would you like to see in the new Friday the 13th Part 2? Like the plot, how it shot, the characters, and Jason. Um, it being, of course, the 13th Friday the 13th in the franchise. I kind of honestly just want them to make it simple and go back to basics. Really, it's not that hard. It seems like it wouldn't be that hard. Uh, all the experimental ones in the Friday series are the worst ones in my opinion. The first four are pure slasher classics. And they're simple. It's to the point. Uh, it's not overly complicated. They don't take shit to space or Manhattan or Canada or whatever the fuck. Yeah, so bring back Camp Crystal Lake. Teens, they go to party. They get killed in creative ways. That's all I ask for. That's really it. That's all I ask for. Uh, but I definitely want to see Crystal Lake back. And you know what would be really fucking awesome is if we could get Camp Nobby Bosco uh, the, the camp where the original was filmed at. That would be cherry. Like, that would be so fucking awesome. If they could go back to the original camp, and it still looks like pretty much the same, that would be so fucking sweet. And, of course, I want to see Jason in it with his hockey mask and shit. Yeah, I heard all the rumors about it being going to be in 3D or found footage. I don't care about any of that. Like I said, stop with the gimmicks and shit. Just give us this simple formula of teens getting slashed. Really easy. <laughs> oh. Hakor Gunnison. Fuck that up. If your life were a book, what would it be called? My life story is going to be called um, First World Problems, The Adventures of a Spoiled American Who Complained Too Much. I have a complaining problem. <laughs> so I've been told. And I really, I kind of want to work on that. I like to work, try and work on myself, try and better myself. That's something I try and work on. But it really is something I have an issue with and it comes to me so easily that I'll be like in the midst of the 15th complaint in a row before I realize, oh, I'm doing it. I'm being that annoying guy. But that would be the title of my book, I guess, and until I change this characteristic of myself and then whatever. I'm going to be called Eric Harrison, the guy that s stood around in his room and talked to his camera all day. Brendan Maziosha <coughs> says, Would you ever do an Omen franchise review? <laughs> Fucking hell yeah, of course I will. I don't know when. I, that's one of those... Some some movies are franchises I know when I want to get around to it or when I want to do it. And some of them I'm just like, I know I want to do it, but I have no idea when. So the Omen, I'm, I'm all about it. I have no idea when I'll get around to that. Also, would you uh, would like to know if you plan on reviewing... Tom Savini's Night of the Living Dead. <sighs> Pardon me. Uh, so what's going on with that is, uh, some of you are probably familiar with the fact that a long time ago, it seems like, at, the, at this point on my channel, I did review all the George Romero of the Dead movies. And I said I would get around to all the remakes and shit at some point, and I haven't gotten around to it yet. But it does cross my mind on occasion. So... I think sometime this year, I think, don't fucking quote me on that, but I really think that sometime this year I'll probably get around to reviewing all those Of the Dead remakes and including Tom Savini, so yeah, it will get there. Hakur had another question, can you please review Grave Encounters 1 and 2? Now, when I read this on here, 
I've had like a week to do this. I fucking totally meant to look this shit up and find out what Grave Encounters is because I, I have no idea. Dude. So, I don't know. I forgot to look it up. I have no idea what it is. None at all. <laughs> I'll, I'll get around to checking it out one day. <laughs> Bobby Shine, my man Bobby Shine, he's got a bunch of questions, so we got to jump through this list. I think you've told us before that you want to make movies someday, but if you had to be a bit more specific, what is your dream and I guess goal in life? Yeah, uh, honestly, what I really, really want is just to be my own boss, to be a new media creator who, you know, which is a YouTuber is the other um, um, term for it. Somebody that is doing it on his own and doesn't necessarily have to answer to anybody. Uh, but, uh, we'll see how that goes. Um, I mean, I feel like it's an achievable goal. It's just a matter of fucking sticking with it and just keep, keep at it all the time. Um, but, uh, that's really what I want. And I, and I want that to then, I want to establish that in my life and then I can go about the business of, oh, hey, these people want to kind of work on a project with me. We can do a short together. Uh, these people maybe uh, want me to help them out with their feature. and So I think it'll evolve into um, f the filmmaking business. But honestly, YouTube is where I really want to be for now, at least until, uh, you know, as long as YouTube is allows people to create whatever they want. <sighs> Number two from Bobby Shine. Do you think YouTube videos and other forms of online entertainment will in the future be on par with TV and radio? Or do you think it's just trendy and it'll die out in the next 10 or 20 years? How big do you think it'll be past TV? Uh, which is ex pretty much what I was sort of just w talking about. Um, if you're one of my family members, you know all too well that I don't fucking really care about mainstream anything for the most part. I do not watch television. I don't watch like 90% of any whatever movies come out. Um, I watch YouTube almost, no, I could say, I could honestly say I watch YouTube exclusively because there's a few reasons. I can look up anything I want at, from any decade. Um, I can look up stuff that I would never find on TV. And I also like to see other YouTubers out there, other new media creators doing their thing and succeeding. And I like that I can relate to these guys. Like, we, we kind of do the same thing. I understand what he goes through. He's like got a schedule, got to get his video out each week or whatever. But there's a charm to the low-budgetness of it, the do-it-yourself. I love that. I like that. That's So I think, really, as long as YouTube continues to allow for you know people t to create whatever they want obviously there's plenty of people that have already figured out it's they can make money on youtube and then it becomes a product and it just kind of gets watered down and shitty but as long as we're allowed to make whatever we want to put on youtube there's always going to be like this anarchy of energy of people that just they don't give a fuck about getting the money or whatever they just want to do this and produce content because they love it so for me, for someone like me, YouTube is the future, as far as I'm concerned. What is your favorite movie of all time? John Carpenter's Halloween from 1978. That was an easy one. Uh, Elvis Presley versus Michael Myers. Michael Myers. <laughs> now we have to see this movie. I guess I'll be the one to make that. Elvis Presley or Michael Jackson? Who do you prefer? Who do you like better? I'm a Michael Jackson guy. I don't know why, but I've just never got into Elvis Presley. It just never happened. I don't have anything against him. I just never got into Elvis Presley. Uh, were you a Nintendo kid or a Sega kid growing up? I was Nintendo all the way. Of course, now I'm a PlayStation guy. But yeah, back then it was fucking Nintendo. It was all about Nintendo, man. Have you seen Troy Duffy's movie, The Boondock Saints? But if you've seen it, uh, what did you think of it? Of course I've seen it. What the fuck kind of quit? No, I'm just kidding. Uh, yeah, of course I've seen it. Um, I've seen one and two. And I'm that guy that actually likes the se the second one as much as I like the first one. I know there's a lot of peeps out there that don't quite dig the second one, but I like them both. Yeah, I think they're really good movies. And I'm waiting on Boondocks, Boondo uh, Boondock Saints 3, which Troy is in the process, I guess, of writing the script as we speak. Uh, last but not least, this is not really a question, but I wanted to let you know that my brother and I both love your videos, and we wish you nothing but the best. Keep doing your thing, stay positive, and never give up. Hell yeah! 
I'm doing my best. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks to you and your brother for watching. April Shaw asks, when are you going to take on the Saw series? I'd love to see what you have to say about it. When Jigsaw chains me up in a fucking basement with some traps all over my body and says, review this series or else, I still die. I don't fuck that movie. No, um, I'm not a big fan of Saw's. Uh... So I'm trying to put it off as long as possible. This is one of the most asked questions. Everybody fucking wants to know what I have to say about Saw. So yes, I will get around to it eventually. I will cave and I'll be like, all right, fine. Fucking review Saw. But I'm trying to keep that shit back. Push it back. I don't want to do it. <laughs> I don't want to do it. Christopher Iglian. I'm sorry. Fuck your name up so bad. He's got a few questions. Would you be willing to do a Psycho and Bates Motel, the TV series review? I got Psycho on my list, Psycho the franchise. Um, as far as Bates Motel, the TV series, no, probably not. Like I said, I don't watch TV. Uh, so, yeah, no. But uh, I might get around to watching it in about five or seven years. <laughs> Two, are you going to review Halloween 3 when it comes out? I mean, if, if it ever comes out, sure, of course I will. Uh, the thing is with these damn franchises, uh, Nightmare, Friday, and Halloween, is they'll never stop. So I will literally be reviewing these franchises for the rest of my life. <laughs> they'll, I'll die eventually, and they'll still be making Halloween part uh, 63 or whatever the fuck. But whenever Halloween 3 finally comes out, sure. But I don't know. I think they've really made a mess of things over there. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure they understand how to fucking untangle the mess they've made. Number three, do you have any advice to give someone who is starting out on YouTube? Thanks and good luck. Um, well, see, the weird thing is, is I've had a certain experience working on YouTube, and but I've seen other people have way better luck. It seems like a lot of people can get on and start making content and find an audience and just build numbers and they... They blow past me and they, they do great. Uh, for me, it's just been nothing but a fucking struggle. I don't necessarily understand why. That was one of the reasons why I changed the name. I was like, is this it? Is it because I fucking... The channel's called Fucking Ingenious? Um, it's just been nothing but a struggle to get to even where I'm at right now. And it's not anywhere near I want to be. But advice would be, if, if your fucking experience is anything like mine... You just do it and 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 you 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 just keep going because you have to want it like really bad. Um, find something you're passionate about. Talk about that. That helps. And then don't be so hard on yourself when you're learning in the first few months of how to edit or how to do these things or how to even present. Like now I'm way more comfortable on camera than I used to be. You can go and look at some of my really old videos and I'm definitely much more like mellower or stiff. Uh, but give yourself a chance to learn over a few months like you'll learn what your channel is about how to do it uh, how to present it so just keep at it that's all I can tell you man oh Hawcore Gudnison has yet another question You're pushing your limit besides slashers what's your favorite type of horror psychological stuff I like a lot I, I really like um, stuff that's slow building, slow burning, maybe more on the psychological side, less gory, you know, less in your face, makes you think about it kind of stuff. <coughs> Excuse you. But that's kind of like other, uh, besides slashers, that's the kind of movies I'm into. So psychological. Holy terror, dynamite. Uh, I don't know. I was just like, that's the guy's, per that's the person's name. You know, fuck. So I felt like I was in Batman and Robin for a second there. Holy terror, Dynamite! Maybe that's how it's supposed to be pronounced. All right, you know what? Let me get back on track. I don't, you don't usually review music, but I heard you mention Marilyn Manson's The Pale Emperor in a previous video. I totally just spit all over my screen. And I was wondering what are your thoughts are of it, and if you listen to it the way that we threw you. Yeah, yeah um, Pale Emperor from Manson is... Just kick ass. That's an A plus album. Pretty damn fucking good. And I'm a Manson fan for 18 years or so, and I like every album. I know there's a lot of people out there that are, you know, some fans that are like, I like these albums, but I don't like those ones. Um, I like everything. 
But even though I like everything, I still feel like the Pal Emperor Manson's newest album is really something that just shines above a lot of stuff that he's put out in probably over a decade. I think it's his best album since Mechanical Animals. I feel like it's very effortless. Like, he's not trying to be Manson. He's just being Manson. Does that make sense? Fucking A, it does. Uh, <laughs> this person had some more questions. Also, do you watch, like, any horror shows on TV? Such as bunch of stuff I don't watch, so that's a no. I don't watch television. Um, I, I have a feeling I will eventually maybe, maybe get around to it. But that's why I said earlier, I was like, I'll get around to that in five or seven years. Like, <laughs> I have no interest in TV, but I might eventually come around. You know, 